Today, I'm gonna to show you what it's like to drive a 2017 Mercedes G63 AMG. One of the coolest parts about the car is the sound it makes when it locks and unlocks, like a bolt action rifle. The doors are made out of galvanized steel, so when you shut them, it sounds like you're closing a vault. Let's go ahead and hop inside. You'll note the interior of the G63 is incredibly luxurious. It is not just a brute force vehicle. We've got Napa leather, lovely quilted pattern. We've got 10-way adjustable seats. We've got a nice infotainment system as well as a really impressive backup camera that I'll show you. The key is inserted into here. You don't actually have a push button start. Note on the AMG cars, it comes with an Alfalterbach logo on the back of the key. And this is actually $250 just for the plastic part on the back of the key. How crazy is that? Let's insert the key fob, start it up. Here are the excellent rumble of that 5.5 liter V8 and a sound telling me to put on my seatbelt. So we will do that. Got a nice display. It's not as big as some of the newer Mercedes models, but it goes with the theme of the G-Wagon, as does leather everywhere. We've got a heated steering wheel, heated and cooled seats, very, very adjustable. Uh, also, some of the seat controls are here on the side. That's very unique. Uh, the emergency brake is covered in leather, as is everything else in the car. When we put it in reverse to activate the backup camera, check out the graphics here. Turn the steering wheel, you've got different drive lines and you've got different viewing angles as well. Because it is so uh, tall and the camera is mounted so high, you get a very cool uh, angle of viewing when you're backing up. You've got locking differentials here for the front, center, and the rear. Very good for off-road use, not useful whatsoever for 99% of drivers of this vehicle who just drive it in downtown LA to go to yoga classes and shopping. It's snowing, so let's go ahead and turn on the windshield wipers by rotating the knob here. Uh, very, very small windshield wipers. Oh, what is that? We've got one in the back as well, making an absurd amount of noise. Paddle shifters mounted on the steering wheel here for the seven-speed automatic. They respond very, very slowly. We've got different driving modes, comfort, sport, and manual. When in comfort mode, the truck still rides very, very hard. And in sport mode, it is just excessive how hard this vehicle rides. We've got all wheel drive and the 4MATIC system on the G-Wagon does very, very well. I'm very impressed with Mercedes all wheel drive. It's really something they should use more as a selling point uh, and they just kind of tack it on as, hey, we can offer all wheel drive, but it really is better than most of the systems out there. You can be incredibly confident in the snow uh, even doing speeds higher than the speed limit, which obviously is not recommended. Now with snow driving, the most important thing is to give yourself plenty of time to slow down. Really where people get into trouble is slamming on the brakes at the last second and well, the car is not going to stop. Watch, we'll try that, slamming on the brakes and it just slides forward. You've got to anticipate slowing down uh, much farther in advance uh, than you would normally, but just with going around turns at a normal pace. This does exceptionally well. Hello, Prius. This is the opposite of a Prius. The truck sits very high off the ground. You've got a very unique driving experience in the G-Wagon. We drove a G550 uh, several months back and really loved how unique the feel was when piloting this car. You've got an incredibly vertical and extremely large windshield in front of you everything is just squared off and it gives you very, very good visibility, which would be helpful in off-roading or perhaps uh, in the military. This was originally built in the late 1970s uh, at the request of an Iranian monarch and now they are available for uh, civilian use. Clearly, I'm driving one, I'm not in the military. You've got tons of headroom, tons of space all the way around. Uh, if you wanna rest your arm somewhere, you've got a lovely armrest here and the controls for the mirror as well as the windows. Let's go ahead and put it into sport mode. When you put it into sport mode, the steering firms up almost too much. It's aggressively stiff, but then when you turn the steering wheel more uh, than about a quarter turn, it starts loosening up far too much and that kind of makes the steering feel a little bit sloppy and un unpredictable and I don't like that. Also in sport mode, the suspension is way, way too firm. 
Uh, it does not ride well. If you're looking for a comfortable SUV, this really isn't it. I mean, the seats are comfortable, you've got plenty of space, but in terms of the driving dynamics, it is pretty rough. Let's go ahead and spray some water here on the windshield. It's getting a little dirty. Windshield wipers work well. The G-Wagon has a tendency, and I really don't like this, to drift all over in between the lane. Even when you're just trying to go straight, it seems to swerve to the left and to the right. And that is very much exacerbated when you decide to floor it. And of course, with a twin turbo 5.5 liter V8, making 563 horsepower and 551 pound-feet of torque, why would you not floor it? But you have to be careful when you do uh, to really, really pay attention because the car does like to veer to the left and to the right kind of uncontrollably. The vehicle weighs just under 6,000 pounds, so it is pretty incredible that it can do zero to 60 in under five seconds, but that's what a lot of power and a lot of torque can do. The exhaust sounds just incredible. Oh. Paddles respond very slow. It's one characteristic of Mercedes that I really don't like is when you flick the paddle, there's just too much of a delay. BMW has that down a lot better, and I think they could learn from them there. We've got a heated steering wheel. Feels really nice in your hand. Of course, we've got heated and cooled seats as well. You've got plenty of space in the back for fitting uh, three medium-sized adults. You've got nice headroom. The legroom isn't all that great, but then way in the back, you've got tons of cargo space. Uh, for storing whatever you need, whether that's lots of groceries from Whole Foods or yoga mats, it's got you covered for sure. Maneuvering in parking lots, although this doesn't seem to be a large concern you would think for G-Wagons, uh, you're gonna be in parking lots a lot in uh, Los Angeles in Rodeo Drive, so it is important uh, to be able to maneuver well. And honestly, the turning radius is pretty bad but you've got a nice backup camera and visibility all around so you can maneuver well. There's a fellow box car there, a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, but this is better in almost every way. Although the Rubicon probably is better on intense off-road. This does have um, very short front and rear overhangs so you can make really aggressive approach angles for rock crawling and going off-road, but chances are you will never do that. It is a very nice seating position in the G-Wagon. You can see over the hood very well. You're very high off the ground and you pretty much feel invincible because this is such a large, heavy truck. That's a good thing, but due to the unpredictable steering, it does kind of feel like you're more likely to crash than you should be. And that I'm not a fan of. Turning indicators, you've got these giant pyramidal shapes on the top of the hood, which you can actually see when they're activated uh, from the driver's seat. This is difficult for me because I really like the way the G-Wagon looks, and I know it is a capable off-road vehicle and it's really luxurious, but the driving dynamics really are disappointing. You know, when you drive a, a new Range Rover that's incredible on the off-road, it also still is really great at performing day-to-day -day driving tasks. But this, it just kind of feels too military, too rugged uh, for being your average street vehicle. But aside from that, it looks incredible, it's luxurious, it's powerful, it's fast, it's capable in the snow. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse our channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.